Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to teach you how to do a project schedule from beginning to end. Now, before you could do a project schedule, you need to understand one thing. You have to really know what the scope of work is gonna be. And I don't mean, oh, I wanna change my cabinets. I mean like, really, what's the complete scope of work? So let's assume you already know this. In this particular case, I'm gonna use a kitchen remodeling as an example. Now, the kitchen remodeling, it's not just remove and replace. We're gonna be doing basically knocking down walls. We're gonna be relocating appliances, creating like a a brand new island we're gonna be doing the floors we're gonna be adding lights we're gonna be changing everything around so that we could do a full schedule for this type of project all right guys let's get started so what I like to use I have this program called builder trend a great system that helps me with my schedules with my leads with everything but within this program, we have the project management uh, software that allows us to create a schedule. Now, this is one of my projects here. And as you guys could see, every activity for this project is written down. This allows us to basically coordinate and know when things are going to happen and what comes next, what comes first and so forth. So today, I'm going to teach you how to basically do it one from scratch. I have created already a, a sample one here, a sample project here for a kitchen remodeling so now before you could even start a schedule you really need to understand the scope of work so for this particular project we're going to be doing a kitchen remodeling where we're going to be taking everything out we're going to be completely doing a full gut relocating things relocating that the sink relocating the appliances adding lights adding fixtures changing the floors painting the full nine yards okay so i, I already started with one activity which is demolition now, each activity, it's basically a crew of people that are going to be working in this project to perform everything, like demolition. You're going to need a crew of people to go demolish. You're going to need a crew of electricians. You're going to need a crew of painters and so forth. So the first thing I like to do is I want to write down all the activities that apply to this project. So I'm going to go ahead and here and, and just create new activities by hitting my plus sign, I could just go here, open this one up, and we could go and save new. So my next activity is gonna be plumbing. Plumbing underground. I'm gonna need this activity because I'm relocating the sink underground. So I'm just gonna write all my activities and then we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to basically edit them. I'm also gonna need trenching. I'm gonna have to cut the floors open in order to do the plumbing underground. I'm gonna also have to do uh, uh, framing work. Framing, which is metals and putting up a wall or, and, or repairing. We're gonna need uh, electrical rough. Electrical rough is basically any, everything that, that happens behind the walls. We're gonna need plumbing rough. Again, plumbing rough is everything that happens behind the walls, the tubes, the pipes, water lines, all that's considered plumbing rough. We're also gonna need drywall. Once everything is covered, everything is done behind the walls, we need to cover the walls. We're also gonna, we're also gonna need drywall finish. So I will finish, we're gonna need, and, and again, I know this activity is by heart because we do this every day, so I know what comes, what needs to get done. Um, if you're doing the sketch and you're, you're a, a pro, it's gonna be simple for you to basically write your activities. If you are not a pro, you're gonna need help from somebody that knows construction. We're gonna need cabinets, we're gonna need countertops after the cabinets, and again, I am writing each activity because each of these activities, it gets done by a different crew. Not everybody, you're not gonna have the plumber doing countertops. And if you do, you're gonna, ha you're gonna have a disaster project. It's gonna look horrible. Uh, tiling, we're gonna need tiling. We're gonna need uh, floor tiling. We're gonna need a, the backsplash for the kitchen, backsplash. We're gonna need, uh, what else we're gonna need? We're gonna need painting. At some point, we're going to have to paint the walls and the ceilings. We're also going to need electrical, electrical final, electrical, 
electrical final. We're going to need plumbing final. Plumbing final and so forth. I'm going to stop there. Uh, you can always come back and add more activities, but for now we're going to stop there. So now when I save this one, you're going to see all my activities lined up here. So now I have done all my activities and you see everything here lined up. Now it's time to figure out what comes first, what goes next, and how many days each activity is going to take. This is, why, this is why it's very important before you do this that you really understand the project scope of work and you understand what you're doing because if you don't understand the scope of work, you, you will not know how long things are going to take. For example, the first thing I need to do, I'm just going to move this to the left, the first thing I need to do is demolition, right? Before I could bring anybody in, I need to basically demolish and remove all the old cabinets, remove the walls, remove uh, the tiles, remove the plumbing fixtures, appliances. So by knowing what I'm demolishing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that it's going to take two days. So now this is one day, this is two days. So I just basically moved it over. So now I'm, I'm, now I'm telling that my demolition is going to start October 3rd, and it's going to take two days to work. Now, let's assume today is October 4th when I'm doing this video, but let's assume Right now, what I'm telling myself is that all these activities is going to happen the same day, which is impossible. This cannot happen. So that's when I need to move my activities. So after my demolition, my next activity is going to be the trenching because I need to basically open the floors open for the plumber to work and then do their underground. So after the, after the demolition, it's going to be my trenching. Now, one of the things that you must do is you want to link this to this. Now, what I mean by linking this to this is basically saying, let me open this up and show you what I mean. Actually, let me open this one up and show you what I mean. So before I could do the trenching, this is called predisor, meaning before, before I do something, I need to finish to start this activity. So for me to start trenching, I need to finish my demolition which is right here when you open here it's going to give you all the all the activities so this is saying i i need to finish demolition to start trenching so when i link this this is what happens and i save it you're gonna have a link you could barely see it here we're gonna have like let me move this over an extra day so you guys can see what happens with this link so now I move this an extra day. Now this activity moved by itself. Automatically it gets moved. Okay. Now another way of, of linking without going in it is simple. Now after trenching, my plumber underground is going gonna, is gonna to go. He needs to work after trenching. So I'm going to move this activity over. And I'm going to link it from here to here. This is the same thing, but it's just a shortcut. So now I'm basically telling the story. I'm telling myself the story. I'm telling myself that on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm going to have my demo people working. On Thursday, my next activity, my next crew is going to come in and they're going to do the trenching, which is cutting the concrete open. And then the next day, I'm going to have the plumber doing the underground, which is all the pipes that goes underground. So I'm telling myself a story. Now, all these activities, I need to basically keep linking them till we finish the job because you're gonna have people working over, over top of each other. So now, after plumbing underground, I'm gonna go ahead and, now we need to pour concrete because the plumber does not do the, the concrete pouring. So I need to add an activity to pour concrete. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add another activity. It's gonna be pour concrete. Pour concrete. And now this activity is going to go again, it's going to go after the plumber finishes his underground. So I need to find here plumbing underground, plumbing underground, plumbing underground. So again, I'm stating, and this has to be zero. So I am stating that I need to finish plumbing underground to start pouring the concrete. And I'm going to hit save. And then once we open here, you're going to see that new activity comes, pops up here. So now we have pour concrete. After we pour concrete, then I need to do framing. Framing is basically all the metals that goes behind, all the metal that goes on the walls, on the ceilings. 
So that's my framing work. After framing work, I'm gonna have to do my, my rough work, which is everything that happens behind the walls, electrical rough and plumbing rough. Now, some activities, you could have people working together, but some activities you can. In this scenario, I could have the plumber and the electrician working together. So I'm gonna go ahead and link these two activities to this because this guy cannot start plumbing if the framing is not done. And this guy can start plumbing if the framing is not done. So that's why I'm linking these two activities to my framing activity. Now moving forward is uh, electrical rough. So now I'm gonna be doing drywall. So once my plumber and my electrician finish, I'm gonna go ahead and do my drywall. I'm gonna just move this, these things over so it'll be easier to follow. So I'm gonna throw this over here somewhere. Give me a second here, just wanna get rid of all the activity that are not gonna happen on that day. They're gonna happen in the future. I'm gonna move it back now in a second. Cabinets. What else do I have here? Countertops. Draw will finish, which is the next activity. It's probably gonna go here. Electrical final, this is towards the end of the project. So I'm gonna throw it in, in this week somewhere here. And then I'm gonna go back and link it. Paint at the end as well. Plum final, oh, I opened up. And last one is tiling. All right, let me just open the tiling and throw it. I could also move it by doing this, changing the date here. I just like doing it on the other screen because it's much faster. Okay, so again, we're, we're telling the story, right? So now the story is demolition is going to take three days. Then my trench is going to take one day. My plumbing underground is probably going to take two days. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to two days. Now, again, the only way that I know how many days it's going to take is by understanding the scope of work. If I don't understand the scope of work, then I wouldn't know how many days. The port conquer will take one day. My framing team will take one day. My electrical rough, electrical plumbing, plumbing probably gonna take two days. And then after my plumbing, my plumbing rough and electrical rough, we're gonna go ahead and cover the walls, which is drywall. So this is gonna be over here. Now I wanna go ahead and, and as well link this, and I'm gonna show you why it's important to link everything. So drywall finish, okay, so my plumbing. Then you start the drywall. So that's next activity. And your drywall finish will go after drywall, which is basically covering the screws and covering the joints. And your drywall finish will probably take two days. I'm gonna go ahead and link this one to this one. And again, by linking these things, I'm basically telling the system, I'm telling myself that I need to finish this activity before I can start this activity. Job will finish, then after the job will finish, I'm gonna go ahead and do my, my floor tiling. And the floor tiling is probably gonna take me about, about maybe three days. By the time you set up the tile, by the time that you do the grout, it takes about three days. So I'm, I'll change that in a second. Then after the tiling, we're gonna do our cabinets. We'll do cabinets after our tiling. After the cabinets, we could do our back, our countertops actually. So this will go next here, following week. After our countertops, we could do our backsplash. You see how everything is, is a process? You, you, have, you have to follow a process in order to basically do a construction. You cannot just send anybody at any given time and expect them to work if things are not ready for them. And then the electrical final will be after all this stuff is done. Right now I'm just moving things over to make sure that it's on the right week and I'm gonna link it in a second and I'm gonna edit the dates, which is very important, the dates as well. How many days it's gonna take each activity. Okay, so now after the tiling, it starts my cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this. I know it's not giving me the option to link it, but there you go, it just gave me the option. I'm gonna go ahead and link this to the cabinets because I need to do tiles before I could put my cabinets. 
and my towel is gonna take me three days so i'm gonna go ahead and push one two three days so it's three days of cabinets and so now this automatically gets pushed over after my cabinets i have to move my countertops and i'm gonna link this i'm gonna link this to my countertops and after my countertops i, I have to do my backsplash so I'll link this to the countertops because that needs to happen before I could start the backsplash. And then after the backsplash, I could start my plumbing and then my electrical final. And this could be linked together as well. So then this gets linked to electrical final and plumbing final. And then last but not least, once everybody's finished and I know that there's, there's not gonna be no more, no more holes or no more work done, then I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and do my painting. So the project could basically finalize with, with a nice paint job and everything is perfect, everything looks good. But I wanna make sure that everything, is, everybody gets done before I, I start my painting. Now, this is, this is optional, guys. You guys could figure out what you determined goes first, what you determine goes second, based on your experience and based on the project. Every project is different. So you have to basically determine, determine what should go first. So now going back and telling the story, I basically have a full schedule saying that I'm gonna, on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm gonna be doing demolition. On Thursday, I'm gonna be doing my trenching so then my plumber could come in on Friday and work to Monday. Once my plumber finishes the underground, then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to send a guy to pour the concrete. Once I pour the concrete, my framing comes in the, re the reason I can't do this the same day is because once you put the concrete, you have to let it dry. And then once this dry, then this guy the next day could come in and do the framing, which is all the, all the metal work. After my framing, after my framer is done, then my electrical could start, my plumber could start. And then once these two guys finish doing all the, all the work behind the walls on the ceilings, then I could cover the walls and ceilings. If, if I do this before, then they come and do this after, then they're gonna make more holes. That's why it's important to follow a schedule, follow the right sequence on when things need to be done. Now I have cabinet here and I have cabinet here, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one because this one is wrong. This one doesn't go here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it really quick. And close this up. Okay, so after my drywall, I'm gonna be doing drywall finish. After my drywall finish, I could start my tile work after my tile work, I could start my cabinets. This is probably gonna take two, two or three days. Let's put two days just for, for this activity. After that, we'll start my countertops. After my countertops, we'll do the backsplash, and then we'll do our electrical final, our plumbing final, and then we could paint. Now, obviously there's more things here that are missing, like appliances, uh, touch-ups, cleaning, but just for this, training i just wanted to show you how how this works and why is this important another great thing about having the schedule done at the beginning is like let's assume this person here uh, takes an extra day or an extra two days so right now since i have everything linked together if there's a delay on the project something happens when i move this automatically two or two extra days the whole schedule gets pushed back See, now everything gets pushed back, so now I'm able to basically use my schedule to coordinate with the people that are gonna be working first to make sure that they go to the job site when I need them. So this is a very important tool to have on any project that you're doing in order to follow a sequence and be able to manage your project correctly. Well guys, hope this information was good to you guys. We'll be making more videos for to educate you guys on how to do more of scheduling and project management. Can't stop, won't stop, let's go.